Hello, let me show you all hidden modes that you can find on Poco X7 Pro. So first of all, let's go to the settings. I'm gonna show you the basic hidden mode that is probably the most popular one, and that is the developer options. In order to open it, we need to go to about phone. And then over here, we need to keep tapping on OS version until we see the information that we are now a developer. Once you go back, then you can scroll all the way down and go to additional settings. Then here you should be able to find developer options where we have a bunch of different settings that we can manage here. And some of them can be quite useful. Of course, you need to be careful with these because you might accidentally break something on your phone. So do this with caution. Um, but some options, like I said, can be quite useful to use for some people, like for instance, the USB debugging or installing apps via USB. Another um, hidden menu or mode is the CIT menu, which we can access once again through the about phone menu. This time we're gonna go to detailed info and specs and you want to keep tapping on kernel version. And there we go, we have the CIT menu where you have a bunch of different tests that we can perform. For instance, the, um, let's say the keyboard test, the touch sensor test, the Bluetooth scan and so on and so forth. As you can see, there is quite a bit of uh, different tests that we can perform in order to check if everything works. Now, besides that, we also have some different modes that we can uh, enable after uh, turning off our device. So first of all, we have the uh, safe mode, which is used in order to uh, safely enter our phone to turn it on safely without any third party tools. So when you are afraid that something doesn't work, if you have a virus or something, most likely the safe mode is a first choice in order to get rid of uh, malicious apps. So in order to access the safe mode, first of all, we need to turn off our device. So of course we need to press the power button and volume up button at the same time. There we go. And now just swipe it up. And now our device is off, of course. Now, in order to go to the, um, to the safe mode, uh, we need to press and hold the power button. And once you feel the vibration, after seeing the Poco logo, you need to press and hold the volume down. So let's do this. Press and hold the power uh, button. Now let's wait for the vibration, which should be in a couple of seconds. But once you feel it, press the volume down. There we go. Now press and hold volume down button. And then we should see the Xiaomi Hyper OS logo. And once again, we should feel a little bit longer vibration. Now this is a sign that you can release the volume down button. And as you can see, we are now in the safe mode. And we have the airplane mode enabled by default. Some apps are missing. As you can see, I have only essential apps that are no harm at all. So no third party apps at all, pretty much, of course. And from this point, you can start uninstalling things like plugins, apps, and so on and so forth, and try to discover the issue that you may have. In order to exit this menu, sorry, this mode, we need to once again, um, open the power menu, but this time we need to simply reboot our device. And once you reboot your device, it goes back to the normal mode, but keep in mind that the airplane mode will be still enabled, so you want to turn it off. All right, so let's go through the first unlock. And as you can see, we are still in the airplane mode, so remember to turn it off, like I said. Now, another menu that is hidden that we need to, that we can access by turning off our device is the recovery mode. So I'm gonna, once again, turn off my device. Let's power it off. And now in order to access the recovery mode, we need to press and hold the power button and volume up button. But once you see the Poco logo, you want to release the power button, but keep holding volume up. So let's press and hold both buttons. And now just hold the volume up. And after a few seconds, we should see the menu. There we go. This is the recovery menu. And here we can, for instance, perform the factory data reset, which is called wipe data. Oh, and by the way, you use volume up and volume down in order to navigate. And then you confirm your choice by pressing the power button. So if you want to remove everything, but you don't remember the password, then of course, this is the way to do so by wiping data through the recovery menu. And in addition to that, here we can also access the download mode. In order to do so, we need to choose connect with MI Assistant. Once you connect it, uh, sorry, once you choose it, you need to connect the USB cable to your phone and you need to connect your phone 
to a computer, PC, laptop, whatever. So use the USB cable in order to connect. Of course, in addition to that, your computer needs to have an appropriate, appropriate software for the download mode. But this is how to uh, make it work. In order to go back, uh, once we unplug the cable, we need to simply press and hold the power button until this image is gone. So our device will restart again. There we go. Now we can release the power button and we see the Paco logo. However, we will once again go to the uh, recovery mode. So now we need to simply press reboot and then we choose reboot to system. There we go. So of course our device will turn on again. And there is one more hidden menu that I want to show you, and it is the fast boot. Now, once again, we will need to turn off our device. So uh, let's wait for the device to turn on. And of course, let's turn it off again. Now, in order to access the, um, the fast boot mode, it is pretty similar to the safe mode. However, uh, this time, we once we see the Poco logo, we need to immediately press the volume down button. So press and hold the power button and now immediately press volume down. Hold it for like a second or two. And now as you can see, we have the fast boot text. We are in the fast boot mode. And in order to exit it, we need to press and hold the power button. So keep holding it until the fast boot text is gone from the screen. There we go. Now we can release the button and our device will restart and it will go back to the normal mode. And that is essentially it. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye!